Hello, friends. It's Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're going to be doing, we are going to be adding two digit by two digit number sentences using our tens and ones blocks. And we're also going to be utilizing drawing out actually the tens and ones in case you do not have these handy. Um, drawing them will just have the same result. So watch what we're going to do. We have 45 plus 21. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start building. This is where I'm going to put my first number, which is going to be 45. This is where I'm going to be putting my second number, which is 21. So thinking back and working on those place value concepts that we have been doing for a couple weeks now, I want to build 45 with four tens and five ones. So here I go, four tens and five ones. And then I want to build 21 with two tens and one one. Okay. So now I have the visual and that's good and ready to go. However, when I want to add, now there could be ways because we're looking at blocks and maybe some folks like to try start with the tens and then go to your ones. But here's the thing that I like to do. Um, when we start actually putting these number sentences in vertical form. That means putting them up and down, starting with the 45 on top and then placing your 21 underneath. That would be a vertical form. That's something that we're gonna be moving toward later on in the year. Um, and that's what you're gonna be starting to do when you get to more intermediate grades. So when we do it that way, I like to do the regular way that we would add or subtract, and that would always be starting in the ones place. Because there's a special word called regroup. And regroup means in the ones place, if you have a number that adds up to 10 or more, the number's gonna just change a little bit. So in this case, our tens and ones might just change a bit. So, Let's just take a look. Let's go ahead and start with our 45 plus 21. See if we have to look at any kind of regrouping right now. That's why I want to start in my ones. So let's add our ones. We have five ones plus one one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think when it comes to the regrouping aspect with this particular problem, I think we're good because our total for our ones place will be a six. So that is less than 10. So I think we're good. There is no regrouping needed here. So that is my ones, which is six. And then I have to add my tens. So let's go ahead and do that. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. So therefore, I have... 66. That should be my sum. That should be my total. So the difference is, it's really not too much of a difference if I want to draw these out. The main difference of what you're going to see is how they look. They're just going to look a little different. So here in, for my 10 stick, you can actually physically see each ones block because you need tens ones blocks in order to create a 10. And you actually see your ones blocks in more of a cube-like form. But when you draw them out, we're just going to make them quickly. So watch how I'm going to build 45 in a drawing. So if it's four tens, five ones, one, two, three, four. Notice how I'm just going to make lines instead of actually drawing these out. And then I'm going to make five ones, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to make my 21 with two tens, one, one. So there you have them drawn out. Same thing is going to work when it comes to adding them. So I still want to start in my ones place. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have my tens place, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have my six. So still my total will be 66. Here is actually in physical blocks versus looking at them in a picture form. So hold tight, get ready. We're going to do another one. Okay, we're back. So now we have 25 plus 18. 
So now let's go ahead and build. So I want to make 25 with two tens and five ones. And now I'm going to go ahead and build 18 with one 10 and eight ones. It's always good to double check, especially with your ones there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add our ones first. Because remember what I said in the last segment here, we were talking about that word regroup. So if we have ones that will equal out to 10 or more, then we're gonna have to regroup. So that means we're going to have to build another 10. So watch. Let's go ahead. Let's count our ones now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13. If we were to do this in a vertical form, you cannot fit a two digit number in a ones place. So there's going to have to be some kind of regrouping. With the 13 that we have, we could actually take 10 of them and make an additional 10. So watch how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10. So now these are going to magically change into another 10. So these are the ones that I have left. This is the extra 10 that I made with counting my ones. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to count my tens and then I'm going to count my ones. So now it's not as easy this time. I could go ahead and just say I have three ones left and I could record that without a problem. That's fine because that is exactly what I have left. But now I could go ahead and count my tens. So I go one, two, three, four. So I have 43. So watch what we're gonna do when we do our picture. So I'm gonna build my 25. There's my two tens, one, two, three, four, five ones. I'm going to build my 18 with one 10 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and my eight ones. Let's see, will we still get 43? Well, let's go ahead, let's count our ones. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're still going to get a result of 13. So what I want to do, I want to take 10 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. There's my extra 10. Notice how I still have those three ones left. That's where I, that three ones come in because that's what's left. And then here's my tens, one, two, three, and four. So there you have 43. So it's just a little bit more of another option to kind of help us figure out how that regrouping comes into play and how we could add some bigger two by two digit numbers. So hold tight, we have one more example. Okay, we're back. And now we have 68 plus 29. So I'm just going to jump right in and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build my first number, which is 68, which is six tens, eight ones. So here I go. Six tens, eight ones. And now I'm going to build 29, which is two tens, nine ones. Six, 
yeah, when you're dealing with bigger ones, boys and girls, I would definitely make sure I'm recounting <laughs> to check my work. So now let's go ahead. I want to start with my ones. And judging from what I'm looking at in my ones place, I have an eight and a nine. So I'm definitely looking at the fact that I could be regrouping. I'm going to be looking at this ones place and it's going to be more than 10. I will have some left over. So that's okay. But I want to make sure that I'm going to now make that extra 10. So let's count up my eight ones and my nine ones and see what total I come up with first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So like I said, if we were doing this in a vertical format, I cannot fit a 17 into a ones place. There has to be some kind of regrouping that takes place. So that means I want to take 10 of these ones and make them into another 10 step. So here I go. I'm going to grab these nine. And this one more, it's going to magically change into another 10. So I'd like to put him down here. And this is, this is what I have left of my ones, okay? So let's count and see what we have left of our ones. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we have that extra 10 here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have 97 as my sum, as my total. So let's go ahead. Let's draw it up as a quick image here. So 68 is six tens, eight ones again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So notice how quickly I could draw it out just like that with my lines and my dots to represent tens and ones. Now I'm going to go ahead and do 29. So there I have it. Two tens, nine ones. Let's go ahead. Let's count it. We want to re still redo the same thing, but now we're just doing it as a picture form. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Just like we got here, we got 17. So now I want to take off 10 of these little dots because now I'm going to remake them into a 10. So I'm going to take off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'm going to draw, there's that new 10. I grouped all those ones together to make that extra 10. Let's see how many ones I have left over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice how the seven is right there. And then let's go ahead and count my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there is our nine tens. So. Boys and girls, that is exactly what we're going to do. These are some new strategies and some new techniques when we're going ahead and we're going to be adding two-digit by two-digit number sentences. So I hope you enjoyed it. I really encourage you to do some extra practice in the classroom or at home. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day, everybody.